I suppose I should show you the room. So yeah, Le Grand Corin Hotel, usual malarkey, couple of beds, table, mirror, hi. TV, coffee machine, but it's all about this really, isn't it? It's all about the view. Yep, I'm right on the front, so I definitely can't grumble about the view. So this is the last video now on my holiday, I promise. I'm not going to bore you with any more. But one more, just for the road. And then after that, it's all back to the landscape and all back to the back to the rat race. So I'm going to call this Tidy Bricks Tobago Tour. The three T's. And it all started today at Pigeon Point. Morning, everybody, from uh, Pigeon Point Tobago. So a little shout out to Beza444 for mentioning Shark and Hake. I'm gonna try it out now, mate. See, um, see how good this stuff does, son. Right, bear with me, I'm put I'm bit into it, yeah. A little bit of local information. When in Rome. Nylon pool. So yeah, I just jumped on a boat, did a little bit of glass bottom bit. Apparently it's good for the body, so I'm gonna see if my ankle feels any better by diving. Well this is a shout out to Trini Fam, who's a local from the area. He told me to get my ass down here because it's good. It's good for juvenating the body apparently. Oh. So hopefully I'll have a little swim round. It's shallow. Hopefully I'll have a little swim round and my ankle will be almost healed when the time the whole day's over. Rheumatoid arthritis, problem solved. Get yourself to the dive on. Right, we're going in. Maybe. Oh. Funny enough. Feels slightly better already. Or maybe that, but I'm feeling to do the peanut clad in there, dude. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to chill my boots. <laughs> so, I'm on a tour today. I've um, got my man Terry. He's my local driver for the day. We're going to go for a little tour around the island. I'm going to show you around and show you what Tobago looks like. And this looks like a good place to start. So we're at some fort. Just been to a little um, local prison around the corner. There's a fine art centre over there. And this is the lovely view we're dealing with today. So yeah, this is going to be my tour, my Tidy Bricks Tobago Tour. Start near. Well, this part of it is anyway. So yeah, the next part of the tour, we're gonna go to Cardiff, which is just up the road. We're gonna go to a cocoa plantation. Before that is a place called Cardiff, so we're gonna have a little butchers of that. See if it looks like my place back home. Just pulled over for a little scoff of some five finger fruit or star fruit as you know it. Check this out. Mmm. That's really juicy that. See you. Don't see these at Tesco Express, do you? Mmm. Wow, that's super juicy. Mm. That's Teddy as well. Yeah, man. That's my guide for the day. Mm -hmm. The man with all the info. That's right. I'm going to have a left one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nice. And over here we got some um, some bananas.
yeah. Plantains, I would say they are. Wow, they're so juicy. Okay, onwards and upwards. Where are we off to next? Cocoa farm. So a cocoa plantation now. We've just had a little bit of a tour on the inside. Terry's been showing me round and the methods of actually making it all. But I'm not going to go into none of that. Because that just went on for ages. And my brain can only take two minutes of people telling me stuff. And then it just goes, whooshing, straight the other ear. So yeah, cocoa plantation bit done. On to the next. Actually, I think the bit we're going to be doing next, Ian Fleming, who did the um, Dr. James Bond author, I think. We're going to go to where he used to live, something called Goat Island, I think it's called. Still find out now when we get in the car, he tells me. So we took one of the cocoa seed things earlier. I just boshed it on the ground. Looks like a brain. Right. I have tried one a second ago. Texture feels possibly like brain. After it's in your mouth, suck it up a bit. It's okay. But as soon as it touches your lips, and just look at it. Go on, fucking eat that. That looks like shit. <laughs> I won't finish with it. <laughs> Fuck it off. <laughs> that definitely does look like alien brain. Well, island. You see the one in front? Yeah. That's called Court Island. And if, when you look closer, you can see the house there. This is as close of view as I can get to Ian Fleming's house. I might be able to zoom in a little bit more in editing, I don't know. But yeah, quite small, really, from here. But yeah, imagine all the books which have been written from that place. The story which is still going on just to this day. This is where all sugar cane and stuff was made. See the big wheel behind me? Yeah, um, anyway, something, something for you Glaswegians watching this. Oh, hang on. Turn the screen around properly. I don't know if any of this rings a bell with anybody. A.W. Smith & Co. Glasgow. Um, 67. I don't know what year that is. Maybe 1867. Put sugar cane in there, grind it all out, it needs to come out of there. That needs to come out of that bit there, and that's where all the juice would be. But yeah, a big piece of cast iron. From Glasgow, you know what I mean, kitty. I've shit at accents. Ignore that bit. Right, bollocks, on to the next bit. So, grub time. We're at Charlotteville, Man of War Beach. Nice, isn't it? Just pulled over for a bit of grub. So I've got chicken. Terry's so got pork. Pork. Total local. Looks nice, mine, doesn't it? Dumpling. I already ate my green bananas. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. Cassava. Cassava. Mm -hmm. Let's tuck in, shall we? Sweet potatoes, nice. Chicken's good. Just being polite, she sat next to me. <laughs> I'm one of those guys who just likes the white to the meat. Don't do all Australian shit. Mm -hmm. That's one happy little doggy. Munch away, my friend. Munch away. Ah, check this out for a titchy little beach. Literally from there to there. So I just pulled up on a boat. With my tour, and I'm going to try one of these masks out. I have seen these masks before, but never actually uh, 
tried one yet. So we're going to do a little bit of snorkeling behind me and see how that goes. Should be a bit of fun. But yeah, I got my iPhone with me. So as soon as I hit the water, this thing will be going off. And he's just buggered off as well. He's got the glasses on the boat. Chosh. All right, I just warmed up my shorts. As you can guess how I just did that. All right, I'm going to go for a swim. Normally I swim like a brick, by the way. So hopefully I'll be back to finish off this video. Ah. That was fun. Not used one of those before. And yes, by the way, I did go snorkeling with a life jacket on. Because otherwise, I swim like a 6x12 slab sideways, primed. <laughs> so, for some reason, I just shitted swimming. Well, anyway, that was cool. We're going to go have a look at another beach now, apparently. Have a little swim around that bugger. Hee hee. My day out rocks. Right, well, we're on Pirate Beach. Jim Lad. Right, time to go for another little dip, I suppose, isn't it? Let's get that mask on. Keep my uh, seatbelt on. No, it's not a seatbelt, is it? What's it called? Life jacket. Duh. Alright, back to the beach. That was. Pirate Bay behind me. Now we're dropping off over there. Then we're going to have a look at some other beaches on the way back, apparently. Tidy. Right, well, we just pulled over now at Fort Campbellton. Go have a little look at that. Loads of forts over here. Loads and loads of forts. Right, let's go have a look at what this fort looks like. And yes, I am actually here by myself. Because a couple of people were asking the other day. Yeah, single, no kids, never be married. Lush. I know a lot of you love that word lush as well. Because it's lush. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's tough at you at the moment. Check that view out. So that. That's where we were earlier, having a bit of grub. Over there, hang on, let me direct the camera at the right angle. Where my finger should be, that would be Pirate's Bay. Rawr, rawr. Cannons to the left. Cannons to the right. If I don't like you, I'm going to blow you up. Thank God all that's over and done with. This place is a little bit hard to pronounce. Palliative Villas, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm just waiting for one to pop up. There's a lot of stingrays. Just see the end of my finger there, stingray. So I'm going to finish my smoke. Get wet, dive in. Hopefully I don't get a Steve Irwin. That would suck, wouldn't it? What a legend that guy was, by the way. Respect to the Steve Irwin fans out there in the world. Since I saw the Stingray, that's all I thought of him, was Steve Irwin. What an amazing person. I think I'll just spin the camera around so you can actually see a little bit easier. Yeah, so those tails are pretty dangerous then, aren't they? Right, enough of this. Let's get me in there. I'm not going to try and film that bit. I don't get my snorkel, just put it on. It's hard to see with the glare. Oh, right, yeah, I won't be filming this bit. Unless um, my guy Terry films me with this bit. But otherwise, you're going to have to miss out. Sorry! Don't have waterproof camera. Just got my iPhone. Ah! 
in front of you. In front of you, right in front of you. He's right in front of you. That's enough swimming with stingrays. I scared the crap out of me. A couple of times to turn around would be like one right in my face, like fuck. <laughs> oh, I kept freaking out thinking I was gonna stand on one. Definitely do not want to be standing on a stingray. I'm not a professional of knowing that, but I reckon it's probably a good thing not to do. So I'm getting out whilst I don't have a barb sticking in me. Cool, though. I swam with turtles before in Barbados a couple of years ago. Um, what else I swam with? Fish. Well, that's quite common, though, isn't it, really? But not stingrays. That is pretty much uncommon. Oh. What a tough day it's been for the Tidy Bricks Tobago Tour extravaganza. No, I just added that last bit on myself. Then rhymes it. Uh, right, I'm gonna get out of the water before I drop my phone. Then yeah, we're all screwed, we'll be able to download anything. Alright, on to the next place. Which is Englishman's Bay, possibly. Um, I can't remember exactly where we are now. This is like the French side of it. So, yeah, my French pronunciation is pretty shit. So, let's go gather my crap. And let's go carry on this mission. We're in a Glasgow bar now. So that's where we were a moment ago. Cheers, mate. Happy days. Got myself a carib. Which I thought was short for Caribbean, but it's not. It's short for. Ah, I forgot. Memory like a bloody sieve. This video is sponsored by Carib. Press the link below for 10% off. Quote, tidy Carib. Nah. Yeah, I wish. Well, that was good. I've never um, never swam with stingrays before. Got a bit freaked out a couple of times, must admit. Shame I didn't have my camera with me. But yeah, it's not waterproof, so I can't do it. Oh, God. What a day. Um, well, we're on the way back now, anyway, so... Um, I think there's... Yeah, there's a couple more stops along the way, so we shall soon find out what that is. Until then, to have me to relax and drink my sponsored beer. Mm. Englishman's Bay. Or as what the Aussies would call, Bloody Pommy Bay. Or as us Taffies would call, Bay. Ignore that, ignore that. Sorry for all you bloody Pommies out there, you limeys. The Yanks would call you Limey. This could be Limey Bay. Limey Pommy Wanky Bay. <laughs> That's if you're not an Englishman. Sorry to all you English people. Can't help it. Just can't help it. Apparently, it's really pissing hot back home. I had a look at the forecast the other day. Monday's going to be 94. Tuesday's going to be 95. I tell you what. If I was back home, I would not be bloody working in no 94s and no 95s. That shit's day off. So actually, I'm glad I'm here for another week. Because otherwise, it would just be, get home, and I'd just be bloody boiling up. And no, I'm not doing it. 
I am not going to work in those temperatures to put bloody tiles on the floor. Screw that, day off, home, fan on my head, sat by the door, chilling. Blah, 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 blah. We are now at Mount Dillon, the highest part of the island on the Caribbean side and straight over that way on a nice clear day you can see Grenada but it's got to be perfect conditions obviously it's a little bit hazy at the moment but still pretty damn cool oh, I'll block my head with the sun don't think that make much difference yeah, I'll do a little spinny roundy, but I'll do it slow because otherwise I'll spin out. Nice. Tell you what, I should probably take a photo of myself from here for my Tinder profile and bumble. <laughs> I've hardly got any photos of me, but I'm just looking at this now thinking, eh, yeah, Tinder, swipe to the right. We're on now. <laughs> Oh, I know he said something stupid then. Right, I'm going to take some photos of myself for my Tinder profile. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Just got to do some of this. Pouty bastards. <laughs> yeah, done it. <laughs> like that. Several different angles. It's bound to be some hot chick out there somewhere. So I'm right to the taffy bloke in Tobago. Uh, yeah, my, um, no, actually, zip it. I'm not going to say Jack Diddley squat about anything to do with that. <laughs> I so want to say something though. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm going to say it anyway. I might edit it out. Hang on. So then crying up my leg. Get off, you fucking anti-bastard. Um, yeah, I only swipe right from... The thing about practical jokes, you've got to know when to stop as well as start, and now's the time to stop. That's pretty much a wrap. Um, oh, I might do a little bit by the pool tomorrow, briefly, just to round all this stuff up. But this is basically, yeah, this is my to be my Tobago, no, Tidy Bricks Tobago Tour. <laughs> Something like that. Yep, so like I said, chilling out by the pool now. It's Friday today, so I got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, going home Tuesday, quarter six flight, something like that. Oh, uh, well, I hope this has been something a little bit different. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I haven't scared anybody off. I won't be doing any more now like this. This is, uh, this is me done. This is actually just giving me something to do whilst I'm here, because there's sod all to do. This place is dead as a bloody dodo. Right, I'm gonna go for a swim over this way. I'll see you um, on a patio sometime in the future, in a couple of weeks. I was thinking of it, I got Moja coming down to do a little video with me. So come back to watch that and I'll see you soon. Later!